Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the previous video we made our way here to the Southern Swamp and we helped out the witches, formerly known as Twin Rova, now they're just Kume and Kotake, the potion brewers. And uh, for that, we're now going to be able to take the boat cruise through the swamp. Oh, thanks for what you did back there. In a special deal just for you, I'll take you to this cruise for free. Ah yes, we've got a special going on right now, so we're giving this out for free. And we get a pictograph box, which we can use to take a picture. We can shoot only one picture at a time, so we have to be sparing with what we choose. If you take a nice picture from the boat, take it to that fella over there. Alright, the boat's leaving. Cool. So, this is actually just a little fun minigame. Welcome to the boat cruise. Please set your pictograph box to C and tilt C to look through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. We are actually just using this for one main reason, and that reason is that, uh, well... There is a big Octorok in the way, I forgot to call him out, but he is over there. And, um, if you don't get rid of him, then we cannot progress to the next area of the game. Now, you might be thinking, what does a boat have to do with getting rid of a giant Octorok? Well, this boat has a point at the end of it, and he happens to be right in the middle of our tour spot. So, uh, yeah. He's gonna, he's gonna get poked. There's a little frog over there, that's pretty cool. Those frogs were in the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Here's the big Octorok, here he is! And, crunch. He gets the big old poke, and we are through now. We can progress to the next area. And as you can see, we're just coming up onto the Deku Palace. And in the previous video, the monkeys from the forest told us that their friend was actually taken to the Deku Palace. So we have to go in and save him. Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Now arriving at Deku Palace! Uh, the swamp water is poisonous, so we must watch our step. And we are disembarking. Yoink, we are off now. So we can talk to this little guy. Never mind, he will just take us right into the Deku Palace. Here we go. The Deku Palace is a pretty good theme, not gonna lie. I I quite enjoy it. There's the moon and, and all the the doom and gloom and everything. Alright, so here we go. As you can see we can just cross the way over here. That could have been bad. Hello! This is the Royal Palace of the Deku Kingdom! This is no place for outsiders! Oh, my apologies. If we turn into a Deku, of course they will let us through. This is the Palace of the Deku Kingdom! Only those who are official business may allow to enter. But you may enter to see the public humiliation of the foolish monkey who angered our king. Follow the hall straight ahead to the Royal Chamber. Alright, so we're not supposed to enter any areas whatsoever. Well, I'm going to go ahead and explore a little bit. Uh, because that's just what I do. Let's check out this side over here. And you might notice if we walk over here that uh, there are some guards, and they have little white dots in front of them. That is only because it is nighttime. Uh, normally they will not have these little white dots. And these white dots serve as their line of sight. If you walk into it, then you will be kicked out of the palace. Very plain and very simple. Not much is uh, going on there. I don't actually think there's much over on this side. I just kind of want to explain the, uh, the game mechanic a little bit. Let's see, are you going to rotate left? You are. Okay. No big deal, keep going around. Woo! Fall down the hole. Okay. And uh, what's down here? <gasps> the bean salesman! He's here! He's here! Talk to me, bean salesman. Well, don't, don't. You're the first customer I've had in a long time. Do you need any magic beans? This brought leaves as soon as you water them. That they do. They do. Mm, I'll give you one free sample. Let's try planting some soft soil. You can always buy more. Bada bing, bada boom, magical beans! This game, they are different. They do not uh, grow when you turn into Adult Link. They instead grow when you water them. So we're going to uh, go ahead and take care of that right now. I don't think we have a use for magic beans at the time, but it's important to know where we can get them if we do need to get them. So we're going to grab a bottle of water here, which totally just looks like someone put a, a blue rectangle in Photoshop over the sprite. But anyway, we're going to dump out the water. That wasn't on, was it? Oh, it was on, perfect. And as you can see, they will grow. We can step on it, do whatever we want while we're here, and it'll take us over to some sweet, sweet loot. I think in this case, it's just some rupees, but you know, nice little thing to have. There we go, so now we know how that mechanic works, and if I ever need to come get magic beans, this is where I will come to get them, because this is where they are. All right, let's switch back into the other form really quickly. Let's go ahead and just get caught, just so I can show you guys what that looks like. Aha, an intruder! And, you know, they will get a big old kick in the pants and get thrown out. These guys will, you know, get mad at us. I told you not to enter in areas other than the royal chamber! It is your very rare occasion that you're allowed to enter, so do as I say! And he's gonna tell us to go back to the royal chamber. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Just walk straight through here, and we'll see what's going on 
All right, so they have a big fire pit going. There is our friend the monkey up there. He's trapped. And we can approach the king and, and see what the king has to say. Oh, I haven't seen your face before. Are you visiting? Usually I don't allow the likes of you in my royal chamber, but today is different. We're about to punish the foolish monkey who kidnapped the Deku princess. He has insulted the royal family. I'll show him what happens when you do that. That foolish monkey is up in that cage. Take a good look at his face. All right, so obviously that monkey is not foolish. He has nothing to do with the capture of the Deku princess and uh, it's our job to free him. Was my brother all right? Did you see the entrance to cage? We know secret route there. Enter secret route from outer garden entrance, but entrance in tall palace. Place, no one can reach it. Need beam from bean teller. Live beneath palace garden. Hmm. Oh, I got you. Uh, so it looks like we do need, do we need a magic bean? I'm gonna get one, but I do not think I, oh man. Oh shoot, my, my memory is showing its faults. I do not remember needing a magic bean to do this. I really don't. Oh, that's bad. Sorry. That's no good. <laughs> yeah, I, I do not remember needing a magic bean. Um, hold on. You know what? Let me... I, okay, okay. I'm gonna get the magic bean, and then um, we're gonna try doing what I remember as what we need to do, and then we will we'll reroute from there. Ah, oh, shoot. I'm just gonna appear in the magic beans. I'll be back. Alrighty, here we are back in the bean salesman's house. I guess we're gonna buy some beans. I think the problem and where I'm getting mixed up in my head is because in the speed runs of this game, uh, you do not go over here to the right section. The magic bean salesman is placed on the left side garden. So I think that's where my uh, my mishap is coming from. Let's pick up some water. There we go, Deku Link. Perfect. All right, and then uh, we're actually gonna go ahead and get thrown out. I don't know, I'm pretty good at that and I've shown that off before. We're gonna get thrown out because I believe what we need to do now is leave the palace and head off to the right, if I'm actually remembering for sure. Uh, let's let's read what this sign says. Hold on, what does this sign say? Outer garden. Yeah. Okay. So this is where I got mixed up. So we need to head over here. Be oh, you know what? Hold on. I'm I'm all backwards. All right. Let's 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 take care of this first. Hold on. Okay. Final answer. That is the way to progress. But, if we head over here, back into the palace, let me in, let me in, come on now, spam through the text, there we go. Okay, if we go to the left, we can get a piece of heart, or a heart piece, whatever it's called in this game, I don't actually remember. Uh, yeah, we can get a piece of heart, so we're gonna do that first, and then I will, um, I'm going to continue to make excuses, that's no good. I'll make excuses about why I don't remember how to play this game. Uh, as I said, I watch a lot of speedruns, and the speedrun strategy, I think, does a backflip or something, or a bomb boost, to an area to skip getting the magic bean. That is, that is where my confusion comes from. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, as I mentioned earlier, you can see there, uh, the Deku Guard's line of sight, but you can only see this at nighttime. During the day, they do not have these, uh, lovely white dots to point us. I, I'm, I suck with them, or without them. In the day, we don't have these white dots to guide us. We have to just assume where they're looking. I think they implemented this because they felt it was too dark or something. Uh, anyway, I'm going to stop blabbing about the functions and actually just show them off by doing them properly. Okay, so slow and steady wins the race here. Gonna have to wait for this one to turn around. There we go. I'll position myself right here. He cannot see me. He will walk away. I will sneak around him and go over here. Now this guard is going to turn around, he turned around, okay. So I can sneak over here now, I can get some rupees if I want. Gotta make sure to visit the bank, because the bank is where I'm going to be able to store all of these rupees. A little bit of a safe area here, waiting for this guard now to turn around and hopefully put his face against that, uh, that palm tree. So I can sneak by and around. People call this the Metal Gear Solid time, and it kind of is like Metal Gear Solid a little bit. We're sneaking around sneakily. Okay, please move. Thank you. So we can come up here now. Uh, I've also heard it compared to the uh, the Deku, not the Deku. My apologies. The um, Hyrule Guard Castle sneaking section in Ocarina of Time. There we go. So we have our fifth heart container now. Huzzah! Huzzah! Let's get some more money, and then let's just get thrown out. We don't actually need to be in here anymore. That ledge. Uh, the little T-shaped ledge that I was right next to before I got thrown out. That is where the speedrunners do their bomb boost to skip having to do this. 
Also, the bean salesman is on the left side, I believe. Which, I be think, makes the right side obsolete in the Japanese version. But I'm not actually sure. Okay, so, what we need to do is plant the bean in this little soft soil patch. And then we can water the bean that is in this soft soil patch. And then we can ride the bean that is in this soft soil patch. Up we go! Okay, and then we go over here, switch into Deku form just because we're going to need to eventually anyway. This is of course the Deku Palace, so everything is made for the Deku. Uh, we're gonna head over here now. What we were supposed to do, that I completely didn't do, was defeat that Deku Baba that is outside. Because that Deku Baba has, uh, will drop you the Deku Nuts, which you need to use here to, um, open up these little- Oh, defeated! Rats! Okay, I gotta go back outside now, don't I? Well, uh, I'll join you guys in just a second. Oh, okay, this is actually the first time we're seeing this. If you're outside of Clock Town and the, uh, the day starts to change, you will get this weird shrinky thing where it just makes your game tiny until it feels like, uh, giving you the next day. It's very weird, don't know why they do this, but yeah. The screen isn't broken, this is just the game transitioning days. And of course we get a nice little overview for the day. I think three should be probably enough, I don't know, we're just gonna try it again. Like I said, now I've explained everything, so I should be able to do it well, right? Step one is have it explained to you. Step two is do it together. Step three is you're on your own. That is how they teach kids, apparently. So I'll just drop down here, burrow away, because burrowing will keep me safe. And I'm gonna hold off for as long as possible before going up. Uh, that will obviously allow me to, uh, there we go. I think it is entirely possible to avoid this. Yeah, you can totally make it over here just to the next platform and you can completely avoid this, uh, this no good Deku, uh, spitting guy over there. The Deku scrub that is attacking us. So right now we are over the bridge. This is crossing over from the right side into the left side. And, uh, here we go. We can get into our little Deku sprout. And, uh, you know, I might want to try taking the break on this one. I'll see what I can do. Nope, my momentum carried that not where it needed to be. That's fine, though. I was able to make it over here to this one. Um, I'm gonna crouch. Let's see, do I need to use it? Oh, I definitely need to clear this guy out for sure. All right, well, we'll see what we can do. No! You're kidding me! Oh, that's so rigged. All right, I'll, I'll be back when I make it to the, uh, the proper place. Man, I was so close that time. No! Oh, so clutch! Okay, we're back, guys. Hi, how you doing? Alright, so, I think the secret here is waiting until I'm directly over and then dropping- NO! You're kidding me! That's so unfair! Alright everyone, through some meticulous training, I discovered I can totally just hit these guys with the bubble and it will defeat them instantly. So I can not worry so much about having to do the, um, the whole in-air dropping the Deku Nut thing, I can just, uh, focus here on having to do my platforming. Now this of course is not the fastest way to get rid of these enemies, but it is a way that works for me, and that's all we really need is a way that works for me. We're not we're not speedrunning here, we're gonna leave that to the speedrunners. Looks like our projectiles collided there, got him, perfect. Now we can just go over here and land on his area, and get in it, wait for the flower that goes left, right, and up and down comes over here, and we can hop in it, and that will be a golden, golden, golden. It will be set there. Perfect, now we just wait, and then we can head up into the monkey's cage. That's where the monkey's cage is. Curiosity, where is that? Yeah, I have no clue what that mountain is. I discovered that in the last video, that's Retexture Death Mountain. No clue what that is, or where that's supposed to be, what landmark that is at all. No clue. Oh, we have five hearts! I think I pointed that out, but that's pretty cool that we have now. Alright, up and in. Here we go. All set for the main showcase. We can hop in and we can converse with the monkey. Monkey, we're here to save you! They keep saying that I kidnap her. No matter how many times they say it, it's not going to bring the princess back! If they're not careful, the princess will fall victim to a monster! Why won't they believe what I say? Fine, I get it. Then I shall say nothing more to you. Punish me or do whatever else you might! 
Uh, I have a musical instrument. Oh, you have them! You do! Just like the princess! Deku pipes! Those will work great! By the way, who are you? F. That's F in the chat right there. The oh, the king sees us. Whoa! That's not important now. Just listen to me! I was trying to find out about the poison in the swamp, so I went to the Woodfall Temple above the waterfall. But the temple had become a monster's lair, and the princess was captured by the monster. Since the Deku King thinks I kidnapped the princess, he won't listen to a word I say. Now the princess is in trouble, so I must somehow hurry to the temple and save her. Do you understand my plight? I get you, dude. Mm-hmm. So then, that means you will go in my place and save the princess. Yes, this is a Zelda game. Okay, now I'll teach you the melody that opens the temple. The princess taught it to me. We can't let them hear us, so I'll sing it softly. There is no way anyone is able to hear this at all. This is also one of the most confusing songs in Zelda. It just does not have any flow at all, and I definitely will mess this up when I'm playing it. I'll mess it up. But here we go. This is the uh, song that opens up the Woodfall Temple. It is called the Sonata of Awakening. We can play it. We'll jam out a little bit. It's like the, the reverse of Zelda's Lullaby almost. You use Zelda's, Zelda's Lullaby to put someone to sleep, and you come out here with uh, the Sonata of Awakening. You wake them up. I guess we're going to be waking up the temple. I don't know. That doesn't make too much sense, but yeah. Also, I think it sounds a little bit like the Serenade of Water, but I might be wrong. I learned the Sonata of Awakening. This melody awakens those who have fallen into a deep sleep. Or temples, apparently. Everyone, did you hear that? This melody, which only the Deku royal family knows, it proves a foolish monkey to save the princess so we can enter the temple. Everyone, let the monkey's punishment commence. Uh, we're going to get escorted out, and the monkey is going to be punished. You better take the shortcut the Deku people use to get to Woodfall Temple. But you must hurry. If you don't, I'll be punished by the Deku King. That is no good, Mr. Monkey. Well, any sane person would end the video off here, but I want next video to be the Woodfall Temple, so we're gonna keep going! Yeah, We're gonna charge right here into battle. We know what we must do, so we are going to do it. Alright, here we go. We're going to head over here. Now we're gonna keep going around. I, I want to try something. Um, this is a glitch, so I don't know if it's gonna work. Okay, yeah, that just did not work at all. Um, we're, we're probably done, aren't we? We're gonna get poison watered to smithereens. Please, get up! Use the flower, use the flower, use, use deck mask, thank you! Okay, there we go. That is better. Okay, so, um, I guess I, I kind of do want to explain what the glitch is, though. It's not really a glitch, it's more of just a trick. Sort of using the game to itself. Wow, imagine not spinning before you jump off the tower. If you spin on before you enter the water, of course, you do go much faster. Unless you're on the 3DS version, which apparently that does not work. No, I have never played that version myself, but I've heard reports. Alright, perfect. So, where does this, uh, this super secret entrance start, monkey? Oh, shoot, a dragonfly. What are these called? They're called dragonflies. That makes sense. I mean, they are what they are, and they are, in fact, dragonflies. Alright, let's just get them out of here so I can think for a second, and then I can tell you all about the glitch that I was unable to do. Once again, more of a trick than a glitch. So basically, if you go on the lily pad that I was on, and you roll jump off as Link, you can uh, you can grab onto the edge of, a, of the mushroom. Rock? Maybe it's a rock. You can grab onto the edge of it, pull yourself up, and then it skips things. That's what the speedrunners do. And yes, I watch, I watch a lot of Majora's Mask speedruns. Do I know how to do any of the tricks? No, I don't. And I'm sure that is abundantly clear. But yeah, I mean, that's just, that's just me. All right, let's, um, let's figure out how to get into that temple though. Anyway, as you can see, it would be a, uh, you glitch uh, onto grabbing that spot right there. Oof, that hurts. Okay, enough messing around. I'm ready to stop trying to attempt glitches and I'm going to do the actual thing now. What we need to do is head back inside, or technically never leave, I guess, and then head over here, and then go over here, and then go up here because this is where the Deku shortcut is. Woodfall shortcut, used by Deku Scrubs only! If you're not a Deku Scrub, you're not permitted to use this shortcut, so don't even try it. But this will allow us to get to the upper section of the Southern Swamp area, on top of these, and uh, don't ask how this is supposed to map up, it really doesn't at all. If you think about it, there's no reason why this should connect to 
or what if the Deku Palace should connect to the other end of the swamp? It's not that large, and you know, I, maybe it's just a huge Deku shortcut. You know, maybe the Deku shortcut is just one of the largest things in history. Anyway, we're now over where I attempted the glitch. You can see that over here to the right side, and holy lord, the game is struggling. I'll tell you what, I'm playing this on the Collector's Edition for the GameCube, and I think I've said that a couple times, and by lord, the emulation is just awful. I mean, there is nothing I can do about it besides, like, buying the game on Virtual Console, I guess, and then playing it on there. Well, I can't, actually, because the Wii Shop closed, but yeah, it, it's, it's not ideal. Thank you for not knocking me all the way off, Mr. Dragonfly. I appreciate that. Okay, enough complaining because we're about to do something actually important. Okay, hold on. Yeah, we are about to do something actually important. It's called defeating the dragonfly by blowing a bubble at it. Sayonara, weenie. You keep your two hearts, I don't need them. Anyway, there's an owl here on top of a tombstone of some kind, so that's neat. Let's go ahead and check him out. Hoot, 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 hoot. This is a rare sign. You're a fairy child, correct? What business might you have in this poison swamp? If you dare not venture further, I shall not pass no judgment. That He's not a gangster, I don't know why I said it like that. It is better that you hurry back to town. The swamp you're in is lost as guardian deity, but it will be destined to fade away anyway. Hoo hoot! And that destiny is not solely limited to this swamp. If you have the courage and determination to proceed in the face of destiny, then I shall teach you something useful. Before coming here, had you not seen any of those stone statues that bear close resemblance to me? He's talking about owl statues, and yes, we've seen a handful. I have placed those throughout the land to aid the one with the power to change the destiny of this land, wherever he may appear. If you have left proof of our encounter with any of those stone statues, then the song carved at my feet will certainly be of some assistance. Remember it well and play it whenever the need arises. From the first time you play this song, we shall become eternal friends, transcending time and place. Cool! Let's actually check this out. Oh, hold on. I guess I need to check it instead of just pulling out my instrument. Notes are carved into the stone. Yes, they are. Link is ready. We can pop it out and play a tune. May the soaring wings take flight. So this is a very, very useful song, and the whole reason why I wanted to actually complete this in today's episode is because this is the Song of Soaring, and it allows us to teleport to any owl statue we have already unlocked. And that's super useful, obviously, because now instead of having to run all the way to Southern Swamp to go into Woodfall, because I'm, I'm going to reset the three-day cycle so we have enough time, uh, we can now just uh, teleport right to it. There we go. Nice, so that is a very useful song to have, obviously. And now we are in the final stretch of doing all of this stuff. We just have to round this corner. This video might be a little long, and I do apologize if it is. I'm looking over and it says 35 minutes on my recording time, but a lot of that was meant spent messing things up. Here we are, we're in Woodfall for realsies this time. Woodfall for realsies indeed. We're going to hop over to this one, hop over here. There's a new enemy. These are, of course, hip loops, and uh, you just got to uh, smack them. Never mind, that only stuns them. Okay. I'm sure you can uh, attack them from their backs, I think is their weak spot. I guess we're about to find out. I'm gonna blow my bubble. Oh, okay, looks like bubbles work for defeating them, and I think also just slapping them in the back. I feel like that's what it is, but I don't want to commit anything into stone. Oh, there you go. Tiny bubbles. Tiny bubbles is all you need. There we go. Hello, and goodbye. Yes, you can come up here and just kind of swipe them around. That's cool. All right, look at these perfect hexagons carved with the uh, seagrass. It's kind of gnarly. Some weird sea bees living here or something. Defeat this guy too. And awesome, we've made it to the last area. As you can see, there is an owl statue here. And this is where we need to stand to open up the temple. And in the next episode of the game, well, yes, there, okay, thank you. Yes, the Deku Scrub Mask is there. Yeah, we're gonna unlock the Woodfall Owl statue so we can teleport here now. And yeah, in the next episode, we're gonna be doing a couple of things around here just to do a little bit of explanation. And then uh, we're going to be heading into the first temple of the game. So I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe and tell your friends about the series if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me and you guys bring the videos around. I'll catch you all back here next time for the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Until then, as always, take care.